Welcome to Mr. Two Reviews. Today I'm going to review an assortment of Asian instant coffees. Korean mixed coffee is ubiquitous in South Korea, especially in Maxim Mocha Gold Mild, which is produced by Dongsa Foods Company, which you'll commonly see in offices, waiting rooms, restaurants, and homes. You can find these in just about every convenience store and grocery store in South Korea. Koreans refer to instant coffees that come pre-mixed with sugar and cream mixed coffee. They also make two other products, Maximum Original and Maximum White Gold, and I was curious what was different about them, which I'll talk more about later. If you don't like sugar and cream, you can also get instant coffee packets without them. Dongso Foods also produces another brand called Kanu, and they also have an array of products that range from dark roast, mild roast, decaf, latte, sweet americano, and mini versions. I have another Korean brand of mixed coffee called French Cafe, produced by Namyang Foods, and the final product I have here is a popular Vietnamese brand called G7. You can find Amazon links to the products I have here in the description below. Dongsa Foods Company was founded in 1968 and have been producing and dominating the mixed coffee market since 1976. They launched the Mocha Gold Mild product in 1989 and update the ingredients every few years. A more recent product that has been gaining in popularity is their Maximum White Gold, often seen with a picture of Yuna Kim, an Olympic gold medalist and considered the best lady singles figure skater of all time. As coffee shops began proliferating in South Korea in the 2000s, tastes and preferences began to shift towards black coffee, so Dongsa Foods released their Kanu product line in October of 2011 to meet that demand. The two boxes I have here is a dark roast and mild roast respectively. Another brand I have for review is Namyang Foods French Cafe Coffee Mix, released in December of 2010. Namyang holds about 20% of the mixed coffee market in South Korea and share a bitter rivalry with Dongsa Foods. Their rivalry started when Namyang Foods accused Dongsa of misleading their consumers by failing to label their use of casein, also known as sodium caseinate, in their products. Casein is a milk protein. Namyang believes the food additive version of casein or processed casein is unhealthy and some studies seem to indicate that they promote the growth of cancer. Namyang claims to use only non-fat dry milk powder with no casein additives, although they still add hydrogenated oils to their creamer. The Kano and G7 brands I have here are the black coffee versions and they have no additional additives or ingredients. Kano also makes different varieties which I mentioned earlier and G7 also has a mixed coffee version which includes cream and sugar. What I want to talk about next is portion size, and each box has directions on how much water to use, though I can't speak for the bulk 100 stick boxes you see on Amazon, as those are for export only. So the ingredients and package can be different from what I have here, which was bought from a local convenience store in South Korea. For example, the one sold on Amazon probably uses hydrogenated vegetable oils as a part of the artificial creamer, but recently in South Korea they have switched over to hydrogenated coconut oil, which is what I have here. They also probably used cane sugar in the past, but now use xylo sugar, which is a kind of tree sugar. A common complaint I saw in reviews was that they tended to be weak or watered down, but I assume they didn't read the directions as they're probably written in Korean. I'll put on the screen how much water is supposed to be used with each stick for each brand. As you can see, with the exception of Kanu, each stick or sachet produces much less than 8 ounces, which is a typical American cup. The reason for this is that the sticks were designed to be used with courtesy cups typically offered in office settings to guests which only hold about 150 milliliters of water, or about 5 ounces. It will hold even less once you add the coffee mix, so 90 to 100 milliliters is about the perfect portion size for these cups so you can still stir it without spilling hot coffee everywhere. The Kanu Mini versions require 100 to 120 milliliters of water, or a little over 3 ounces, and were also developed for use with these small cups. So if you want about 8 ounces of mixed coffee, you'll want to use at least 2 sticks. For a box of 100 sticks on Amazon, it costs about $20, so each stick costs about $0.20, cents, which means 2 sticks will cost about $0.40 cents for every 8 ounces of mixed coffee. The non-mini variety of Kanu produces about 6.7 ounces of coffee at around $0.50 cents each. A single sachet of G7 costs about a quarter. On the box, it says to use 60 milliliters or 2 ounces of water, which is like an espresso shot, and I tried it earlier and it was very strong and bitter, so I would definitely use more than 2 ounces of water for each sachet. I would say about 6 ounces is about a good amount, which makes G7 the most cost-effective at around 25 cents for each cup of coffee. I don't know how much caffeine is in the black coffees, but the mixed coffees have about 40 to 50 milligrams of caffeine. You can find some of my sources or reference links in the description below. Okay, so let's get to the taste test beginning with the mixed coffees. I'm going to give you two pro tips I didn't know about when I first came to Korea and tried mixed coffee. Pro tip number one, if you're normally a black coffee drinker like me, I only bought these for this review, and you want less sugar and cream, let's say you're on a diet, what you can do is shake the stick so the smaller sugar and cream powder goes to the bottom and larger coffee bits go to the top. Then pinch it somewhere in the middle and you should get most of the coffee bits with just a little bit of sugar and cream. Let's pour the rest into this cup to see the difference. You can see I got most of the coffee. Since I tried to avoid hydrogenated oils, I'm going to do the same for the mocha gold.
Pro tip number two, since these are usually offered to guests in public places, they don't usually have stirring sticks or spoons. So how do you mix the coffee? This might have been apparent to some people, but not to me. But the reason the packaging is in a stick format is because the stirrer is the package. So you're probably going to want to make sure your hands are clean when you handle the packaging. Okay, so a few months ago, before I started researching the differences between these mixed coffees, I would have said the Maxim Original and Mocha Gold are suitable for vegans because I thought they didn't use any animal products since they use artificial creamer. True story, when I was little, I used to eat spoonfuls of carnation non-dairy creamer. But now, Maxim labels casein as a part of the ingredients, and as we all know, casein is a milk protein that comes from cows. The reason I think they didn't label this before was because they put a small enough amount at about 1.38% to not have to label it. If you ask me, I still think it's mislabeling to call it a non-dairy creamer. I think Dongsa Foods could benefit from the vegan market by omitting casein from their original and mocha gold product line, but that's just my opinion. Also, as a side note, I'm not a vegan, but I respect those that are. So which one of these do I prefer? If you're lactose intolerant, but you like coffee with cream and sugar, then the White Gold and French Cafe are off the table because they use dry milk. The major difference between the original and the Mocha Gold are the sources of the coffee beans, with Mocha Gold using more expensive beans, which usually equates to better quality. But the price difference between the two are very negligent, so Mocha Gold is a clear winner here. The original to me tastes more bitter, and that's it. Nothing else. Just mildly bitter. No flavor. So I suspect it has a higher blend of Robusta beans versus Arabica. I'll list on the screen the sources of the coffee for all these products, but keep in mind these could be different years or months from now or from the export versions. I think it's also important to note the amount of coffee in each stick. The original has more coffee but with lower quality beans, and as you go up the product line the quality of beans go up but the amount goes down. So the original has 0.4469 grams more than the white gold, which means the white gold has 37% less coffee than the original. That's a big difference. The flavor definitely improves as you go up Maxim's product line, but it gets milder. If you don't like the idea of drinking hydrogenated oils, then you would have to go for the white gold or French cafe, which use non-fat dry milk powder, although they still add hydrogenated oils, but I assume in a lesser quantity. As far as flavor goes, I prefer the white gold. It's very sweet and mild, and it's exactly what I expect coffee to taste like that has sugar and cream in it. This would also be great during hot summers with ice added. I like that French Cafe doesn't add casein, and thus you could argue it's safer and healthier, but I can't get over how it tastes. But I think that stems from my preference for Central slash South American beans like Guatemala or Colombia. African beans from my limited experience, and to me at least, taste brighter, more acidic, and earthy. Whereas Central American beans taste more savory and smoky with hints of cocoa. That said, the French Cafe has a stronger coffee taste, probably because it has more coffee in it. The white gold tastes very mild in comparison, like there isn't enough coffee in it, but whatever coffee flavor it does have, it's good. The flavor of the coffee in the French Cafe catches me off guard because I'm so used to Latin American coffee beans, but it's not bad per se. It has some tartness to it, and I don't expect that when I drink coffee. In either case, I think variety is the spice of life because I would get bored drinking the same coffee over and over again, so I would get a little bit of both, but more of the white gold. Here's another pro tip. If these are too sweet or mild for you, but you still like a little sugar and cream in your coffee, I would mix one stick of mixed coffee with one sachet of regular black coffee, and I think that will give you a pretty good balance. Okay, now on to the black coffees. So what I have here is Kanu's Dark Roast and Mild Roast and G7's Black Coffee. The regular Kanu's have 1.6 grams of coffee versus the Minis which only have 0.9 grams of coffee. The G7 contains 2 grams of coffee. Kanu uses freeze-dried coffee which means they brew the coffee then freeze-dry it. But G7 uses a dry roast extraction method directly from their coffee beans which means it was never brewed but you still get a soluble coffee powder. Even though G7 says to use 60 milliliters of water, I'm going to use 200 milliliters or about 6.5 ounces because I tried it with 60 and it was very much like an espresso. Very strong and bitter. But right off the bat, the G7 has an amazing aroma. It smells very strongly of toffee or toasted butterscotch, but it's far more bitter than the Kanu's, even when watered down. So I suspect it probably has a Robusta blend. And to be upfront, I'm biased against dark roast because I like medium roast, so my favorite hands down is the mild Kanu. But I also like the G7. It's more aromatic and cost effective and will add some variety to my choice of instant black coffees. The dark roast I think pairs well with mixed coffee to give it a little more kick, but you can mix and match and experiment with what works for you. Although I prefer freshly ground coffee, I do indulge in some instant coffees every now and then when I'm feeling lazier or on the go. And that concludes my review of various Asian instant coffees. Give it a like or thumbs up if you found any of this info helpful. You can find Amazon affiliate links to these products in the description below. Next time on Mr. 2 Reviews, I'm going to review several bags beginning with David King & Co's Leather Messenger Bag. Subscribe if that's something you might be interested in, and I'll see you next time. Woo! I am jacked up on caffeine. Look at that. Steady as a rock. Too bad I drink with this hand.